Hi, this is Mitch from TCS. In this video, we will be demonstrating a feature of the UWT100 Wi-Fi throttle. Dual throttle mode. Dual throttle mode allows you to control two trains at once using one throttle. With dual throttle mode, you can be your club's yard jockey boss, running mainline trains while switching or running two locos at one time. Interested? I'll show you how. Let's get started. With the throttle powered on, press the menu button. Then scroll to operations or press button two. Next, scroll to dual throttle or press button six, which will toggle dual throttle mode on or off. There are two slots for trains on the throttle, the primary slot and the secondary slot. These slots allow you to control two trains simultaneously. If you had a train selected when entering the menu, that train will be put into the secondary slot automatically when dual throttle mode is turned on. In this case, it is 564. You will see E appear on the left side of the screen, indicating that the primary slot is empty. Use the Select Loco button to add a new train to the primary slot. In this case, we will be using 1213. If you direct your attention to the bottom left side of the screen, you will see the word recall has changed to swap. This is so you can easily switch between primary and secondary trains. Pressing the swap button will make the train in the primary slot change to the secondary slot and vice versa. By default, the double chevrons and the thumb wheel control the speed of the primary train. The single chevrons control the speed of the secondary train. In dual throttle mode, function buttons and the thumb wheel will only control the train in the primary slot. The direction button only works for the primary train and will not work for secondary. However, we will show you how to change the direction of the secondary train in just a little bit. Yard mode still works for both trains. If you have changed the double chevron keys to control functions, these functions still work in dual throttle mode for the primary train, as long as yard mode is not active. Earlier, we said it is possible to change the direction of the secondary train without using the swap key. We will show you how. Use the dual direction function and map it to a soft key. You can use any of the soft keys, but in this demonstration, we will be using the three dot soft key. First, press the menu button. Then scroll to settings or press button eight. Next, select throttle settings or press button one. In throttle settings, select change buttons or press button one. Then scroll to the button with three dots or press button three. Select common functions or press button one and scroll down to dual direction and select it. Your throttle will remember this setting. Now your secondary slot has the ability to change directions using the soft key. When you exit dual throttle mode, the dual direction soft key will revert back to its original setting. By default, this is the bell. To turn off dual throttle mode, press the menu button, select operations, scroll to dual throttle and select it or press button six. Dual throttle mode is now turned off. 
After exiting dual throttle mode, you can see that the three dot button changes from the dual direction icon to bell. Additionally, the secondary locomotive slot disappears and swap changes back to recall. The train in the primary slot will remain as your active train when exiting dual throttle mode. The secondary train will be put in the first recall slot. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial on how to use the dual throttle mode feature on the TCS UWT100 Wi-Fi throttle. Pick up your own feature-packed UWT100 and enjoy the reliability, range, and power of TCS Wi-Fi. Purchase your own UWT100 from your favorite dealer or direct from TCS. And as always, thanks for watching.